I skipped a Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to Info Blazers. Today is Thursday, February 16th. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Bella. In response to a recent alarming flurry of student drug overdoses and anti-Semitic acts, Montgomery County Public Schools have reached out to its community partners for aid. It has teamed up with Montgomery Goes Purple and the Jewish Community Relations Council of Greater Washington to create initiatives such as more fentanyl forums and increased cultural competency training. Their hope is to combat drug use and hate-based acts in the district. Last weekend, the College Board made a statement addressing top Florida officials concerning the state's ban on a new AP African American Studies course. In the statement, the National Education Nonprofit first apologized, saying it should have more quickly addressed claims by Florida's Department of Education that stated that the course was indoctrinating students and lacking educational value. The organization also stated that Florida exploited its courtesy to achieve their own political agenda. On Tuesday, Ukraine renewed its appeal to Western countries for fighter jets to continue their war against Russia. However, at a high-level defense meeting in Brussels, they won no assurances that they, would e that they would receive any combat aircraft. Even so, Ukraine's allies pledged more weapons, ammunition, and tanks as senior defense officials at the meeting said the war with Russia is approaching a critical stage. Now, let's take a look at part two of our series on Blair's closed campus. Well, they come all at once, and they stand by the doors, and one person gets french fries, and four of them hang around. A lot of them like to hang out here and smoke and leave all the trash. We ask them to leave. People tell us to go F off. Uh, other times, sometimes they throw trash at us, or other times they try to threaten to fight us. I guess you can include lunch, but 1030 to 12 is when we see a majority of the students coming out here. We want you to come over, but just be respectful. It's just very difficult to you know, make our bottom line when it just sometimes it drives away business when there's students hanging around. Even in, in our uh, dining area, I have seen a couple of people smoke. That's why uh, a lot of customers, when they see a lot of uh, students sitting here, they just skip our store. The Woodmore Beer Store, uh, they locked their doors from 10 to 12. Uh, also, the watch store where the guy got a pot thrown at his face. Also, the lawyer upstairs got punched in the face by telling kids not to smoke in the stairways right over there. But McDonald's hiring their own security. Safeway won't allow you high school kids in there during the day. Same with Chipotle. Well, my jurisdiction ends on my campus. Having said that, that doesn't mean I can't discipline you for cutting classes or skipping classes and going across to businesses. But during the school day, stay on campus. Thank you. Thanks, Theo, for the information. One Blair is hosting a dialogue to discuss recent events and topics related to drug use in Montgomery County. Students interested in sharing their thoughts should come down to the Media Center today during lunch. Looking for a sport or extracurricular in spring? Try Blair Gymnastics. It's open to all skill levels and no prior experience is required. If you're interested, make sure to register through Parent View by February 26th. And that's all for today's show. Check out our website at bncaonline.net to submit any announcements and follow us at bnc underscore Blair on Instagram and at bncblair on TikTok and on Twitter. Have a thrilling Thursday and we'll see you next time, Blazers.